Hello everyone, this is Nork the Childa here and welcome back to another 3 tips video. Today in 3 tips we are going to be doing shard collecting. Uh, if you don't know what shards are or shards of power, they're in the character uh, icon select window. There they are. And we have fire shards, ice shards, poison shards, shadow shards, lava shards, as well as bonus unlocks. This is one of the new currencies you can obtain in update 2.1. And uh, it's very, very hard to get. As you um, might have seen there, I'm nowhere near uh, close to getting 100 of each shard to unlock every single achievement shards have to offer. So they're bound to stick around in my uncompleted achievements list for a long time. But let me tell you today, three main ways, and actually there are really only three ways you can obtain shards in Geometry Dash as of now. And I'm going to tell you um, what they are and how you can do them to maximize your intake of shards of power. The first and easiest way to obtain shards is going into the daily rewards window. In here there are two chests, one 4 hour reward, basically it gives you a, a reward every 4 hours, and one 24 hour reward so every day um, you can come back and get some shards. The bigger chest, uh, which is like blue and yellow, um, is really what you want. That has 100% chance to give you a shard every time you open it, so uh, you can count on that for yourselves as well. But don't neglect the smaller chests because sometimes there will be shards in those as well. So the best way to maximize your shard intake is try to get these as much as possible. I know it might be tedious logging onto Geometry Dash every single day at a set time to get a reward, albeit four hours uh, apart, you know, checking it six times a day. It's a bit unrealistic, but try to do it as frequently as you can. For me, I'll try to set a schedule where I'll collect my daily chest, like the 24 hour one, in the morning before I go to school, and at that time I'll, I'll also open my first uh, small chest of the day. Then four hours from that, maybe like around lunchtime for me at school, I'll open up my, uh, my small daily reward again. And uh, when I get home, I'll open it up again, and if I guess there's time before I go to bed, yeah, I'll open it again. So, that that's that's four openings in one day, um, as opposed to six, because, you know, you're not going to stay up for 24 hours. Um, but you have four chances to get some shards, and by opening these daily chests on a schedule, you really set yourself up to maximize the amount of shards you take in. The second way to obtain shards, which is the, I guess the second easiest as well, um, and also the newest way to obtain shards is through the gauntlets. The gauntlets are new things similar to map packs, where you have different uh, areas where you can play through a bunch of levels, and it gives you rewards for each gauntlet you play. The only ones that give you uh, shard rewards as of now are the fire gauntlet, ice gauntlet, poison gauntlet, Shadow Gauntlet and Lava Gauntlet. Unfortunately, Bonus only gives you 500 mana orbs, which is a great reward by Rob Top there. Um, but you can get three of each shard, um, each respective elemental uh, shard, from each of these gauntlets. So, for example, if you beat the Fire Gauntlet, play through these five levels, boom, 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 uh, you will get three Fire Shards from that, as well as other rewards, but we're focusing on shards this video. Same thing with Ice Shards, three from the Ice Gauntlet, three for Poison, three for shadow, and three for lava. When you combine that with the previous um, rewards you get, it, it does help a little bit, um, getting little um, handfuls of shards. Three is not really enough um, to get any real achievement. But maybe, maybe when you're starting out, it sets you uh, on your way to get your first five shard achievement, but this is just a nice little way to collect uh, some little amounts of shards and get you on your way to unlocking more shard achievements. And guys, the final way to obtain shards in Geometry Dash, which in my opinion is the hardest way, is through the treasure room down here. To get through here, you have to bring the uh, the Keymaster 5 Demon Keys, which is basically um, things you, uh, keys you get uh, every time you collect 500 mana orbs uh, through a level. For example, uh, all these levels have little orb things with them, and so once you collect uh, 500 of these in levels, um, you, you will get uh, one demon key. You have to get five to go in here. And once you're in here, you can use those demon keys to open these chests. These chests have a mix of rewards, diamonds, mana orbs, icons, death effects, everything. But they also have shards. So, 
Um, some of these, I've opened all of these chests, um, and it was kind of tedious and annoying, which is why I'm saying it's uh, the hardest. Um, and I do have like 196 uh, demon keys now, which is actually really crazy. Um, but anyway, um, there will be little drops of shards uh, throughout some of these chests, so if you have a lot of keys and you use them on a lot of these chests, you might see yourself getting some shard drops, um, which you can take home to your nice collection of shards. Um, and a good way to tackle this, um, and what I have found useful, is to play old levels, specifically demons. I'm just going to search, like, uh, just demon in general. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have any other filters yet. And so it brings up a bunch of these demons. Now, you shouldn't really play nine circles, obviously, but some e demons on the easier side obviously play the Nightmare of the Lightning Road. I've already done these and gone back, because once you complete one of these, that gets you one demon key just like that. Um, and the Nightmare is basically like a hard level disguised as a demon. So if you play easy, like again, like Speed Racer, Laser, all these like easy demons are really good ways to just, you know, get you, um, get you mana orbs really quickly to get you demon keys to un uh, unlock those chests, to give you shards. That's a nice chain of events for you guys there. But this is a good way to do it. Also, just playing levels that you've already beaten. Um, for example, when Geometry Dash World first came out, I played a bunch of levels in my saved folder, which just, um, which I, I, uh, beaten in previous updates, so I wouldn't be able to get the shards, or not the shards, the mana orbs, so many different currencies in this game. Um, so I just played through those, um, and got those. So any level you've, like, previously beaten, which you think you can beat again, I think that's, um, a really good bet for you. Also, um, the main levels have been updated with, uh, mana orb rewards, so if you want to go back through and um, play every single main level, again, uh, that gets you a good amount of mana orbs there, so if you just want to knock those out, you'll get a nice uh, nice amount of mana orbs uh, to get you some nice demon keys, and uh, yeah, opening a bunch of these chests will give you some shard rewards and set you on your way to getting more shards for your nice collection of elements. So guys, that is it on today's three tips video on collecting shards. Let's do a quick recap. There are three ways to obtain shards as of now in Geometry Dash. The first way is to open your daily rewards. There's a 4-hour chest and a 24-hour chest. Make sure you stick to a nice schedule to make sure that you're always getting a constant supply of shards uh, to make sure you get a lot of them in a short period of time. The second easiest way is playing through the gauntlets, which give you shard rewards. Only the first five gauntlets uh, give you shard rewards besides that. Uh, not much good for you there uh, in shards, but just a nice way to get little uh, little samples of shards, three uh, for each of one of those five gauntlets, and a uh, nice little reward of shards there. The third and final way is getting demon keys to open chests in the treasure room, and uh, some of those chests will give you shard rewards, so playing a lot, um, a lot of easy levels, uh, which yield you a lot of shards, uh, no, a lot of orbs in the end to get you demon keys, to open chests, to give you shard rewards, uh, is a nice way to keep that shard flow coming in. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment below any ideas you have that you want me to cover for three tips. It doesn't have to be geometry dash related. Anything you want to see, obviously not something like weird, like three tips on how Norkta eats his breakfast with his socks. Exactly. Don't. It has to be something I can, you know, maybe I can make that now. But anyway, a topic I can actually make a three tips video on. I also apologize that I have not really uploaded for a few days since April Fools, um, and my uh, 60 user coins icon rub rub video. Um, this week has been crazy, crazy, crazy in school. I did have a, um, a violin concert um, two nights ago, um, and uh, an all-day rehearsal before that, so it was kind of a hectic day, and then I had to make up tests and stuff, and stuff I missed, so it was a lot, but uh, I am back. If Spiders Could Talk should be out this month, if everything goes well. Um, so look forward to that, and I have some pretty fun videos coming up for you guys. So I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching once again, and goodbye.